Hi Pisces, welcome to your September weekly reading. This is from the 4th to the 11th of September 2019. We're going to be seeing what's going on in your love and career for this next upcoming week. So keep in mind, it's a general reading. Messages may or may not apply. It may not resonate right now as you're listening to it, but it may come through down the line, whether that's a week from now, six weeks from now, a month from now. Who fucking knows? I could be picking up on your past energy, or I could just be picking up on your current energy. So honestly, it varies because we're all in different timelines, and so some people this could be happening to them right now. Some people it hasn't happened. Some people it happened already, but it was in the past. So like, it varies. So if it doesn't resonate, keep it in your back pocket. It doesn't hurt, and um, you can always come back to this down the line if it does end up resonating in the future. All right, so. Check out your other placements as well if this video doesn't resonate because it'll give you additional messages. And yeah, if you have to, you can swap the roles. I could be talking to you as if it's actually the person you're dealing with or whatever. So just know you can swap the roles, but don't force it. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. You'll know. I'm just reading the cards, okay? So let's see what is going on for you guys from the 4th to the 11th of September. Really just like from now until... Remember, like, who knows? Who fucking knows what's going on? Oh! Jesus. So we have the Five of Wands reverse. Oh my god, my cards are totally, like, curved. I need to, like, rebend them back. Oh, I made it worse. Okay. Five of Wands reverse. So, this is a little, little flyer. We're gonna keep that as a pre-shuffle. But I see that you may not- Oh, what is all my- Oh, never mind. It's just a crumb. <laughs> um, I'm seeing that you don't really want- Drama, you're trying to avoid conflict. We have the devil reverse at the bottom of the deck. You're trying to stay away from any drama. You're not interested. Like, you can't be asked to be putting up with shit, I'm feeling. Anyway, let's see. What other messages do we have for Pisces? Okay. What messages do we have for Pisces? From the, the King of Pentacles, man. King of Pentacles has shown up for all the fucking water signs. Like, damn, y'all are all getting some money, okay? What messages do we have for Pisces? Okay, and Nine of Cups reversed. Okay, so I feel like this this drama card, this Five of Wands, is kind of regarding this Nine of Cups reversed. So this could be about a connection or relationship that you had with somebody. Maybe Maybe this is somebody who is dramatic or causes drama or just you know unnecessary petty arguments and i see that you're trying to avoid situations like that and i see you're just trying to focus on grounding yourself and being the best version you can be of yourself right and being very abundant i see money's going to be looking fine this month this even like this week or whatever you're going to be doing fine um you have everything you need to prosper and be successful so keep that in mind Let's get into your actual reading. What messages do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh look, we have the Hangman. That's you guys. Oh fuck, that was a, that didn't even work. <laughs> right, what messages do we have for Pisces? Oh my god, that barely works. Okay, and my eye. Oh my god, stop twitching, please. <clears throat> what messages do we have for Pisces? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> now I had a hair in my eye. I'm just like, can you just like, fuck off? Maybe you guys are kind of in that that mood or just like, can you just fuck off? <laughs> Alright, what messages do you have for Pisces? Regarding this upcoming, oh, come on now. Any come on now. Oh my god, why can't I shuffle for you guys properly? Let me like, hold on. Let's rebend it. Try and like straighten this deck out. <laughs> Cause I, it's like they just want to not fucking shuffle. Wait, what if I shuffle it reverse, like, like upright, just for a couple, just to try and rebend it? Cause it's like curved, as you can see. And the way I shuffle, it makes it. Oh my god, I can't even. I can't even like bend the card. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. You guys are like, just hurry up. Well, good thing I'm going to timestamp um, when the reading starts, so you can just skip ahead. <laughs> oh my god, come on now. Oh my god, I, I literally can't bend the card. <laughs> uh, get it. 
<laughs> Yo, this is hard. Okay. It's like they don't want to bend. <sighs> oh my god, that fucking killed my hands. Okay, I'm like, it's, some of them are straight, some of them are still curved. So we're trying to bend them back. Alright. What messages do we have for my Pisces people? Okay, it's starting to work. It's starting to work. Any messages for Pisces? Oh! Nine of Cups reverse wanted to come out in the front. These motherfucking cards, I swear, if they didn't even shuffle, we're gonna just like, we're just gonna take this card and just slide it in. Okay. Just bear with me. I'm just trying to get these cards straightened up so that I can actually shuffle properly. Okay, I think this should be fine now because it's like, now they're pretty straight. Okay, so little life hack, if your cards are kind of fucked up and they're curved, just shuffle them the opposite direction, it'll straighten things out, you know? Opposites, right? Positive to the negative. Alright, there we go, there we go. Any messages for Pisces? Sorry about that, a little delay. Any messages for my Pisces watching the video? Regarding love and career from the 4th to the 11th of September 2019. Oh my god, that's so much better. I can actually shuffle the fucking cards. Any messages for Pisces? Okay, let's do one more. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna see, like, kind of, like, the current energy I'm getting from you guys. We have the Eight of Swords. Oh my god, can my eyebrows, like, stop being itchy first? What the fuck? Eight of Swords. We have the World Reversed death and two of swords reversed so this is your current energy that i'm picking up on right now whether you're in it right now you're about to head into it or you just left it i'm seeing that for a while or for a minute you've been <laughs> you've been feeling a little bit stuck kind of feeling stuck not really sure where to go I see that you're closing out cycles, you're closing out situations and welcoming new energy in, but there is something that's trying to close here and it's taking a while to close out, you know, it's taking a long time. And we have death here, so it's like you are letting go, you are embracing new beginnings, you are just kind of surrendering to things just coming to an end, coming to a close. And I see that you are making a decision. Don't know what it is, but you made the decision to a swords reverse. You took the blindfold off, so you see something clearly. So maybe we're gonna clarify, don't you worry, but before we clarify, I'm gonna get the other cards out. So for one person we have the ace of wands reversed, we have the star reversed, the emperor, and the fool. Okay, and then for the other person we have the queen of wands, we have eight of pentacles reversed. Three of Pentacles and Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, let's get into this. I have no room. <laughs> okay, so for one person, we have the Ace of Wands reversed. So there is either a delay and a new start regarding your career, something that you're passionate about, or maybe this is just something that you're turning down. Because I do see that there's some new beginning coming towards you, and I do see it could be career related or something that you'll feel pretty empowered by doing, but I do see that there is some type of delay, whether this is a delay or you turning something down or rejecting an offer, and we'll see what exactly this is. But the star reverse, it's like maybe you see a situation clearly, like perhaps this eight of swords, two of swords is kind of linked together, and you see a person for who they truly are, like their true colors, you can see right through the bullshit, right through the lies, right through their smile. And with the Emperor, I see that you're being balanced, very controlled energy. You are controlling the way you come off, the way people perceive you, the way your emotions are, your logic, your intuition. You're very just grounded and having no problem controlling yourself. You are just, you're just doing you. Could also be dealing with an Aries. These are two Aries cards right here. The Fool, so like I said, new beginning, something starting. Sorry, I was just looking at the card. <laughs> I was just looking at this little flower he's holding. It was just represents um like innocence. 
So you could be starting something new, maybe something you've never started before, something that's completely brand new, and maybe you don't even know where this is going to take you, where it's going to lead. Maybe it makes you feel a little bit stuck, maybe it makes you feel a little bit anxious, but I see that you're going forward with it anyways, and you're welcoming new energy here. Now on this side, we have the Queen of Wands, so somebody who is creative, somebody who is desired by a lot of people, somebody who's just very artsy and fiery and just like a go-getter type energy. Now it looks like this person doesn't really have inspiration or the passion, motivation to work on something, and we don't know what it is yet because we haven't clarified it, but looking it's just like... We have the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, so it's just like, this could be regarding a situation about collaboration, not having the motivation to work together. But then the Seven of Swords reverse is just like, there's like, why is there wax on my table? I don't, I don't, why? Like my candles ha here, how does wax get over here? That's fucking, oh my god, it's got me fucked up. Like, Honestly, I need to clarify to, to talk more, but like, Three of Pentacles, that's about collaboration and working. It also represents, um, starting your job, you could be moving, moving homes, um, traveling for some. Thank God, I thought I just heard shit outside my window. But, um, could be going back to school, just being open to learning and, um, supporting people and allowing people to support you. So if that's you, then that's you. What? Is that a dog or a door? <laughs> Shit's so weird. Shit. Okay, let's clarify and go deeper into what the fuck is this reading talking about. Talking about the Eight of Swords? For, I was gonna say Scorpio. It's Pisces. I'm with the Eight of Swords for Pisces. Could be dealing with Scorpio, because death is, um... Scorpion energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. I can of Swords. Oh, fuck. Okay, we have Five of Swords that wanted to come out. And what's this? Four of Wands reversed. So this could be regarding, so this feeling stuck about a certain person. Maybe you feel like there, there was a loss, some type of loss. I definitely see that this foundation, this relationship did not last it kind of fell through maybe somebody's ego got in the way somebody who was insecure maybe maybe you were dealing with somebody who was insecure with the nine of pentacles reverse whether it was insecure in themselves insecure financially you could have just been dealing with somebody who had a lot of insecurities but then they try to like act like they knew everything or that they were the top shit but really they fucking had all these problems and they try to like correct you for your problems when it's just like excuse me how about you look take a look at yourself in the mirror before you try and correct me bitch you have more things to worry about yourself than worrying about me like how about you focus focus on yourself it's like you fix yourself first before you try and correct what i'm doing with my life or some shit i don't know why i'm getting that but that may be for some of you tell you about the world reversed for pisces look page of swords so and this is the third fucking time, third Pisces reading in a row where y'all get Page of Swords. Somebody's watching, lurking, stalking. They're watching you. They're creeping. They're lurking. Also could represent drama or conflict or gossip or just talking shit. Somebody could be talking shit. Maybe you find out somebody's talking shit. Let's go into this. Coming up the world reversed. Oh, shit. Six of Cups reversed. We have... The Hermit Reverse and Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Oh god, the devil at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, shit. So, like I said, the World Reverse closing out cycles. There's a cycle trying to close out, and it's taking a minute to actually, you know, wrap up. Sorry. <clears throat> My throat just got really dry for a second. I need my water. Everybody, stay hydrated. Little water break. Okay, that's so much better. <clears throat> so, I feel like the way you look back at this person, you look at them in a negative viewpoint. Like, I don't know what they did, but clearly you're not very happy with who this person either was or who they turned to be. 
maybe this is somebody who is really close to you and this is kind of like intuitively but maybe this is somebody who was close to you and you guys had a strong bond but then they changed or maybe they didn't change they just ended up showing up no they ended up showing their real colors and you're like what you've changed but it's just like actually this is how who they've always been that could be for some of y'all I see that you're coming out of a period of isolation or reflection regarding the situation, this person. So maybe you were kind of reflecting and thinking about this situation, this person, this scenario. Kind of coming up with like a conclusion or like, I don't know, just wrapping shit up in your mind and kind of just seeing things for what they are. And so you had a little moment of reflection and then i feel like this ace of pentacles is just not even like regarding this whole situation i feel like this is the new energy coming through like because the world is all about wrapping up old cycles saying goodbye to the old and welcoming the new i feel like this ace of pentacles is something brand new like something new for you that you have any like this could be a new opportunity a new job a new person a new friendship something that's going to benefit you in the long term and i see that could be connected to this fool emperor energy so, interesting, interesting. Tell me about the death card for Pisces, Four of Pentacles. So, releasing death to clinging on to whatever the situation was. Ma magician reverse, no longer manifesting this toxic connection with the devil. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn as well. But yeah, so the death, you could have hold, held on to a grudge maybe in the past maybe in the past but I see that you're finally letting go and embracing new beginnings so maybe that you let go but the person you're dealing with hasn't let you go that could explain why the four of pentacles is still up upright like clinging on like maybe you've let go but this person hasn't let go of you therefore that's why it's taking such a long time for this cycle to close out because I, I see that you don't want to manifest this why because it's toxic because it's just draining and not beneficial for you you don't gain shit from this connection this relationship so it's just like why would i invest my time my energy into something that just does not benefit me so i don't really see you manifesting or extending yourself to this person maybe you're trying to distance yourself from this individual and like they keep trying to like squeeze back in i fucking hate that shit it's just like take a hint i don't want you in my life Therefore, stop trying to hit me up. Stop trying to squeeze back into my life. It's so damn annoying. Like, get the fuck out of here. I don't know. That could be for some of you. But what's this decision about? Tell me about the Two of Swords. What's this about? Six of Wands reversed. Tell me about the Two of Swords reversed, please. For Pisces. Oh my god. Hey, it's you guys. The Hangman. Y'all looking at this from a new perspective. This is probably what's going to help you if you haven't made a decision or you're still trying to figure... If you're still in this stuck place where you're like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. Do I keep him in my life? Do I cut him out? I see that the best way for you to decide what's best for you is to just kind of... Oh, fuck, what was the word I was going to say? To... What's the word I was going to say? Surrender. <laughs> Sorry, like, that's not even that, oh my god. You're allowing yourself to surrender to the situation and to just kind of, like, look at it from a different perspective. Like, you may have been looking at it from, like, a certain mindset or a certain place or, like, you know, just looking at it in a certain way. And now you're looking at this in a different way. And the way you're doing that is, like, you're taking a moment for yourself. You know, like I said, with that hermit reverse, you're coming out of this little isolation reflection time. But when you were in that, you were looking at it in a different light, in a different perspective, or, like, trying to see something differently and so i feel like you doing that's going to help you make whatever this decision is regarding this failed connection or like this unsuccessful oh my god man cars be flying fucking everywhere today like literally <laughs> temperance in the world reverse again the world reverse double confirmation <sighs> cycles closing out and then temperance gaining your stability you could also be dealing with sagittarius um or fixed lines right Closing out cycles, like I said, you've taken this time. And a lot of major arcana I'm getting for you guys. Like, a lot. So, this is, like, when there's a lot of major arcana. And there's a lot. Literally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. 
10 and it's, most of it's just your energy if, it, if this is you and then this is you like that's a lot that's a lot and usually when there's a lot of major arcana it usually indicates some like life-changing shit some like major life changes and i need to move this incense because it's going everywhere but this holder oh my god please <laughs> excuse me come on now all right I'm just blowing the fucking ash everywhere. There we go. See, it landed. Woo, okay. But yeah, no. Oops, I accidentally flipped this card. But I see that you taking this moment, this little reflection time to look at the situation is going to help you gain balance, gain that stability, and gain your inner peace. Inner peace and closure and just closing out this cycle. And like, that's good. That's good. So let's go into this Ace of Wands reverse. What's this Ace of Wands reverse, please? So with Ace of Wands reversed. Look at this, the Moon reverse. So okay, you see something? Okay, so I feel like this, could, this, this, you know, this Ace of Wands reverse. It could be something that's being rejected by you, which is hey, the Moon reverse. This is you guys, Piscean energy, as well as a little bit of Cancer, because there's a crab in the corner and a. Um, I see that you could be denying something, not deny, but like rejecting an offer from this situ- from- not this situation, from this person. Because you see things clearly now. Like, there are some confusions, but you cleared it up. You taking this- ow, I fucking hit my elbow. You taking the moment for yourself to reflect on the situation allowed you to see clearly, allow- yes, allowed you to make this judgment call. This judgment- Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Oh shit, it was this one. Eight of Swords reverse. C, 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 C. This is positive. This is so good. Because the first card that came out was Eight of Swords. But now, double confirmation by the way, Eight of Swords reverse. So you're releasing yourself from this shit. From these fucking toxic ass connection. Uh, you're making the... See? You're... They try and reach out to you, try and like, hey, let's collaborate. Even though like they low-key don't even have the the time or whatever. Maybe it was like one-sided or whatever. Who fucking knows? But I see that if they do try and reach out, you're gonna just you're gonna shut it down. You made the decision a long time ago or whatever the fuck you made this decision because you see shit clearly and you're no longer tied to this individual, you're tied to this connection, tied to this situation. Because you know your worth and you're not going to put up with shit. Tell me about the star reverse. The empress. See, you're you're not going to put up with shit. You're the motherfucking empress, okay? You're the motherfucking empress. You see shit for what it is. You see the truth in the situation. And honestly, with the star reverse, it's just like you've given up hope. You've given up faith regarding this person, the situation. And you're like, you know what? I gave this person how many fucking tries or chances that I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I deserve something that has growth, and I'm not settling for less. Talking about the star reverse. Excuse me, the motherfucking star. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius. If I didn't say that, we have Knight of Wands, so I see that you're taking forward action without overthinking or having pressure regarding this decision. You're just taking a time for yourself, and you made this decision to go towards something that makes you happy. Let's let's pull this one. Yeah. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. You're moving away from somebody who was ungrounded, unstable as fuck. And you're working towards your goals. Nine of Wands. You're pushing forward. You're using your strength and your fucking... You push, 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 push. And you don't let nobody stop you. Like, you're going towards the things that make you happy. And nobody can stop you from getting what you want. From becoming this emperor, you know? My eyes twitching. Stop. <laughs> God. Tell me about the Emperor for our Pisces. Tell me about the Emperor, please. Oh my God. Two of Pentacles. So just know that there is balance in this situation. Like there is secretly balance, whether you love, know it or not. Ten of Cups reverse. Oh. Oh, what? Okay, so regarding the Emperor, we have two of Pentacles. You're juggling, you could be juggling something, juggling an idea, person, place, or thing, or jobs, or whatever, but just know that there is balance. 
in the situation. My temperance is all about balance and like just balance, 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 balance. Now, this, this, because we have the Ten of Cups reversed and we also have the Sun reversed. Maybe you had to make a decision that you weren't very happy with making, but you had to because it wasn't making you happy. And so you're like, I have to release this because it's not benefiting me anymore. It sucks. You know, I really used to care for this person. Like, this person used to mean a lot. Maybe you guys used to be really close in the past. Maybe you guys used to be, like, best friends or some shit. I don't fucking know. But you have to look at it for the truth and what it really is and how this, who this person became or who they have always been. And you have to look at the facts and, you know, it makes you sad, but you had to make this choice for yourself, for your own good. It sucks. It didn't make you happy. This choice wasn't a happy choice. You didn't want to do this, but you had to. You had to make this judgment call. And so I see that you're leaving this, you know, this kind of sad period behind. You're looking back one last time, reflecting one last time before you make the final step, that final judgment call to go into this new beginning. Looking back once last time, looking back on your innocence, looking back at this old energy person. Didn't we have the Six of Cups? Or was that not? Didn't we have that? I swear we did. Didn't we? Because if that's the case... Yes, we did. Six of Cups reversed. So yeah, maybe you guys were friends or really had a strong bond in the past, but then, you know, shit just tumbled and too far gone. Too far gone. So you had to leave it behind you. It makes you sad because you're like, damn, I really thought that this person was going to be in my life for, like, my fucking life. I thought we were ride or die, but it turns out, you know, shit happens and people come, people go. And I guess I'm just going to have to move forward to better things. Yeah, see, oh my god, three of swords. You didn't, you know, that's not good, you guys. So, like, some heartbreak, pain. You didn't see this coming, possibly. Oh my god, eight of cups underneath that. What else? Four swords. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm pulling away too. I'm just like, I was just looking. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> so look, we have six of swords. You moving away from this situation for this person. Nine of cups reverse. Not extending to them. Not even offering any emotional support. Four swords healing yourself. Especially after, you know, that heartbreak, that pain. Eight of cups walking away. It's okay. Stay strong, Pisces. Stay strong. Okay. Let's, let me do a quick little shuffle real quick first. One more. Alright, tell me about the fool for Pisces. What's this new beginning? What's this new beginning? What's this fool energy? Come on. Tell me about the fool. Night of Cups! Okay, okay, so now it's up, right? So hey, maybe love's coming in. New love. So the fool for... The fool with the fool, beach. Love that. Love that. I love that. I love it when I'm just like, you know, clarifying. And the, the clarifying card, I'm, you know, the card, oh my god, I can't see. The card I'm clarifying, the same fucking card comes out. Just like, thanks for the double confirmation. It's just like an extra, a big check mark. Like, you're, you're telling the right fucking story. Everything's making sense. Keep going. Like, okay, bitch, I got you. <laughs> Okay, tell me about the fool. So it's like, damn, uh, taking a brand new leap of faith. Page of Cups. Um, it's a weird fucking bird. Okay, so. Oh my god, motherfucking threes. What the fuck? That got me fucked up, man. <laughs> Literally three of swords and then eight of cups. And again, like, bitch, I shuffled you. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't apply. I just wanted to look, okay? So, the Fool clarified with the Fool and Knight of Cups. And it looks like this Page of Cups reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse is kind of regarding what you're leaving behind. So, you're moving towards... and So, what you're moving... What are you moving towards? Okay, so you're moving towards something new. Double confirmation. Something new. Possibly love-related? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. What are you leaving behind? Well, 
You're leaving behind a situation where you no longer feel the inspiration and motivation to work on. And there could now be, oh, I'm just getting a pain in my head now. I don't like that. <laughs> anyway, it's gone now. Oh my God, that shit's annoying. I don't know why. <laughs> Literally, never, it's never when I'm doing anything else. It's only when I do reading that I get like a pain in my forehead. It's just some weird shit. Like, it's not even in my third eye. Like, it's literally on the side of my head. I don't fucking know. Anyway, page of cups reversed. Lack of communication. If there is any, it's very poor. Maybe you talk to this person once every... Who fucking knows? But not often. Not every day. So, poor communication or, like, literally none at all. And just see that you're leaving this person in the dust. Instead of the news coming in. So, that's interesting. That's interesting. Let's go into this person. The side. Okay. How long has this reading been? 31 minutes. Oh my god! Why am, why am I reading so fucking long? I speak so much. I need to shut the fuck up. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Okay. Oh, wow. You can't think this shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Queen of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Again, double confirmation on the same damn card. That shit will always have me fucked up. In a good way, though. It's always just like... A big check mark, you know? Check mark number two. <laughs> God. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Page of Wands reversed. Okay. Oh, and the Chariot. Could be dealing with the Cancer. Alright, let's just go off with this. So, so again, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Fire sign. Double confirmation. Definitely could be dealing with an Aries. So this person may have received the bad news. Page of... Excuse me. Page of Wands reversed, that you no longer want to have connection with them, that you are releasing them and letting go of this friendship or whatever, relationship. And so, you know, because Page of Wands reversed is like the bad news card. The Chariot, taking forward action, confident action, possibly away from this connection. Hmm. Let's go into this Eight of Pentacles reversed. We have the Eight of Pentacles reverse, Power of Pisces, the Tower, okay, so Tower moment, oh my god, so literally, you like, this person may find out that you don't want nothing to do with them, and that, like, it makes them have a Tower moment, and they're like, well, fuck Pisces, like, I don't wanna, oh, yeah, look, 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 the High Priest is reverse, Seeker's coming out, a lot of major arcana in here, oh my god, I swear, let's get one more for the Eight of Pentacles, reverse. King of Wands, Reverse, and the Emperor is at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, it's really looking like whenever this person finds out the truth, that you no longer want to be friends with them or have them in your life. So, secrets can come out. They may even expose themselves. This little tower moment that they have, or you both have, or like, you know, follow, argument, scream, yelling, conflict. Ah, I hate it. But they may fucking cuss you out with the with the king of wands reverse is just like this someone who's just triggered like i don't know you may be triggering this person to be pissed the fuck off and they're like fuck you pisces and it's just like oh my god i don't know i don't like this energy but it's just like it's better off this way than like keeping them in your life this person seems unstable anyway let's talk about this three of pentacles for pisces what's this three of pentacles about Look at this. Five of Cups reverse and the Seven of Swords double confirmation. Seven of Swords reverse twice. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> just hit my buddy bone. Ah, oh, fuck. Yo, that shit hurts. And it just feels so weird, you know, like when you hit your funny bone. Ah, fucking. It's not fucking funny. Why do they call it funny bone? That shit fucking feels weird. Anyway. So this person. Oh, they may have tried acting all supportive when really. They had the wrong intentions, right? I see that this person will move forward from this. Like, they may act all hurt and betrayed and like, how dare you, Pisces? But really, they don't really give a shit. And they're like, whatever. I have better things to deal with. <laughs> Look, I know. Let's get it. Oh my god. Oh. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what? This is the leftover cards I have? I was like, oh, it's over here. Let's get it. one more for the three of pentacles. Maybe this person's moving away. I have the three of pentacles. Um, come on now. Nine of swords reversed. So I feel like this person is also really. Ow, I bit my mitt. 
Look at my fucking lip. What the fuck? Y'all got me fucked up. First I hit my elbow, now I hit my lip, my eyes twitching. Y'all got me fucked up. Maybe you guys need to be careful. Maybe some of you are clumsy. <laughs> like injure yourself, so don't hit, don't hurt yourself, okay? Um, but yeah, no, I see that this person wants like they, I don't know, like it's like they're bothered, but at the same time they're not because they're still moving forward, but they're still pissed. Who knows? This person is weird. <laughs> and if this is you, well, I guess you're weird. Just kidding. Don't take it personal. I don't know you. Um, tell me about the seven of swords reversed for Pisces, or, oh my god, <laughs> three, oh sorry, the Wheel of Fortune, um, okay, Justice, and the Emperor, all this major fucking arcana, I fucking guess, but I just see that in the end there will be forward movement, the wheel is turning, the cycle is closing, <sighs> emperor so i guess this person will end up maybe they'll learn a big lesson a big fat lesson from this and maybe that'll change them well clearly it will because the wheel of fortune man wheel of fortune changes major changes but just know any wrongdoing any toxic shit there will be justice okay so i mean that was kind of a weird reading i don't know if it made sense but i mean the cards literally are speaking like the cards are literally the fool the fool the queen of wands queen of wands nine of swords nine of swords fucking like all these duplicates so clearly somebody needed to hear this message so if it resonates let me know down in the comments below i'm gonna do a quick singles reading for my single pisces who aren't currently dealing with anybody and then we'll do advice and i'll have it all time stamped down below okay but yeah, I don't know, that was a weird reading, but I just see, like, releasing and moving forward. And just new shit's gonna come your way, both sides. Both sides are having new shit come their way. The wheel is turning for both sides. So whatever side you resonated with the most, like, just know there will be changes. Things are coming in, new stuff, and release of any shit, basically. Closing out cycles, right? So... For my single Pisces, what is going on for y'all singles out there? My single bitches. What's going on for the singles? What's going on for my single Pisces? My Pisces? My single Pisces? <laughs> Any messages? For my single Pisces? Anybody coming towards the single Pisces? No love? Look at this, the fool again, Queen of Cups. Ooh, new love. Alright. What's going on for the single Pisces from the 4th to the 11th? Oh my gosh. Alright. So for my single Pisces, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Moon. Three of Cups, Six of Wands, and Three of Pentacles. So, let me just look at this real quick. Okay, so, there could be something that you are not seeing in the current moment. Something that you're just kind of blindsided by. Or just something that you're not really paying attention to. Listen to your heart. <coughs> Excuse me. Follow your intuition because the moon here. Something could be coming out, like secrets, or just like something being exposed or your intuition is trying to tell you something so really pay attention to that now i do see that there are going to be joyful opportunities opportunities for you to go out meet new people mingle around um celebrations also possibly reconnecting with people from your past or just reconnecting with old friends or just like coming together with somebody and I see something will be successful, so if you're starting something new, or just starting a new relationship, I see something working out in the long term, and it's just gonna, excuse me, <laughs> they will have, like, whatever this, this six, six of wands and the three of pentacles, I feel like whatever this, we have two threes here, so, whatever, um, whatever this is, whatever this, I can't even think, whatever, <laughs> whatever this, yeah, whatever this is, whether it's a relationship, a job, a career, 
an idea. Whatever it is, I see it's going to be successful and it's going to be long term. It will bring happiness into your life. Something that you may even celebrate for. And I just see like collaboration. So if this is like a relationship, I just see you both working really well together and like just really vibing well and celebrating and just having good times. A lot of joyful times. If this is a career, I see that it's going to take off and be super successful and like a lot of collaboration. You may collaborate with people that you normally don't meet. Maybe you're meeting, coming together with new people and like you guys are going to collaborate together. Honestly, I can see it in many different ways, but so that's what's going on for you single people out there. Now let's just get some advice for everybody. What advice do we have for Pisces? What advice do we have for Pisces? Oh my god, like, <laughs> fucking did three readings today. I feel drained now. Any advice for Pisces? watching this video. Any advice for the Pisces people who came across this video? Yeah, because we just fuck off. Any advice for the Pisces people? Any advice? One more. Okay. Any advice for the Pisces people, my Pisceans? Okay, okay. Any advice from my Pisces people? <laughs> Any advice? Okay, we got a lot of advice, y'all. We have Six of Swords reverse, but Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles reverse, the Tower reverse, and the Lovers reverse. Oh my god. <laughs> a lot of reverse cards, except hey, Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning. See if I'm saying. It's a new beginning, gonna be successful, gonna bring you money, gonna bring you abundance, gonna bring you happiness, gonna bring you stability, gonna bring you balance, <laughs> like, gonna bring you all this beneficial shit in your life. I see, um, I see that you're trying to move away from something, whether that was, like, related to the last spread I did, like, for the general reading, moving away, now something may try and resurface, could be regarding this Gemini lovers connection or just somebody that you had a strong bond with may try and resur may try and resurface how it just fucking hit my head man see y'all got me fucked up literally bit my lip hit my funny bone and hit my head y'all got me fucked up if you are clumsy bubble wrap yourself <laughs> so you don't fucking injure yourself literally be careful like i don't know why but now i'm just like be careful some of you need to be careful about like I don't know, just accidentally injuring yourself this month? Like, what the fuck? Don't want to be in the emergency, like the ER. Oh my god, like, why am I getting these messages? Like, go away, <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> oh my god, anyway. I do see as advice, okay. Leave the past behind. Welcome new energy. You may have a decision to make, oh, so just, you know balance yourself and just like stay grounded you may need to go in to like make this decision like reflect for a minute for a day or whatever figure out what it is that you want okay now this could be there's like you trying to rebuild yourself after this tower moment this kind of collapse this like unexpected ending or something that just happened unexpectedly i see that you're trying to build yourself up and get your own stability build your own foundation a solid ass foundation and i just see the lovers reversed. What do I see with the lovers reversed? What do I see with the lovers reversed? Why did my brain just go blank? Um, what? Just like, I guess it's just be committed to what you want. If you have a wish, go for it. If you have like a goal set in mind or something that you want to accomplish, fucking go for it. That's kind of what I'm seeing with the lovers reversed. Like as advice, I just say like, Whatever it is that you want, whatever it is, desire, whatever it is, like a job, friendship, relationship, whatever the fuck, you want to move somewhere, you want to start school, you want to go to university, you want to do this, you want to do that, you want to start a new hobby, you want to learn how to make music, you want to know how to cook, you want to do this, you want to do that, fucking go for it, fucking do it. New opportunities for growth, man, for self-growth, for improvement from yourself, from your health, to your home life, to your family life, to your friend life, to your social circle, your <laughs> your love, like literally 
anything, literally anything. I knew I see just see new shit and just be open to it and to commit to what makes you happy. Okay, so move away from the bullshit. Cut that shit out. Cut that shit out. Build yourself up. Know that there is balance in whatever the fuck is going on and um, welcome new energy. Okay, we had the world come out so many fucking times in that last reading. Like, oh my god, new shit's coming in. Release the old and welcome the new. All right. So Pisces, that was your reading. Um, let me know down in the comments below if it resonated or if you got any insight. And um, yeah, so that was your reading and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.